Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you all so much for joining us today. This is, uh, it, it's kind of hard to believe we are on the last day of the event. It seems we've been planning this all year long and it's been really exciting to see it come together. I feel like we've had some really amazing content at this event. Um, I just, I've been so pleased with how everything's going. So I just want to uh, thank you, thank all of you for, for coming and making this possible. Being part of history, this is our 34th Apache Con, or somewhere between 34 and 38. It depends how you count. Some events, some people don't count. But anyway, this is our first virtual event. So thank you, thank you for making this possible. And also a big thank you to our sponsors. Um, we literally could not do this without our sponsors. And so I want to mention our platinum sponsors first. You've heard these on the other days, but I really want to encourage you to go by their booths and talk to them about their products and services, maybe their job offerings. Some of them are running seminars throughout the day. Uh, those will be announced in the event chat. They'll be announced on Twitter. So please join us. So I want to particularly mention our platinum sponsors, Instacluster, Red Hat, Datastax, VMware, Apple, Amazon, IBM, and Imply. Our gold sponsors, OpenLogic, Cerner, and RxM. And our bronze sponsors, CodeThink, the US PostgreSQL Association, and muse.dev. Now, um, several times during the event, I've mentioned that muse.dev is running a bug bash. And for those of you who are not familiar yet with muse.dev, their, their product is a, uh, a code analysis tool. So it's been run on several of our Apache project GitHub repos. It's identified some issues and we have Several teams, I'm actually going to try to, to go to the live dashboard instead of a screenshot. These are our teams that have been working on this throughout the week. And, uh, <clears throat> well, it looks like you can still only just see the screenshot. That's fine. If you go to bugbash.muse.dev, you will see the, uh, the uh, dashboard. And uh, we have a number of teams running, and uh, it looks like Team Thread is well in advance. Um, I, uh, I it looks like uh, Paul King has done little else but fix bugs this week, which is pretty exciting. He's fixed 562 bugs, so congratulations to Code uh, Team Team Thread, and hopefully. The other teams will have a chance to catch up over the next few days, or over the next few hours, rather. <clears throat> now, I've mentioned this a number of times. I, I know that some people have been asking for the URL again in the chat. Here it is again. If you want to purchase the ApacheCon t-shirt, this will be available for sale uh, indefinitely. This isn't going away. Uh, it is available for shipping all over the world, and it has this, this uh, lovely design which is all one continuous line representing how we're all connected, even though we're connecting from home. So make sure you get yours and wear it proudly. Um, and finally, if you do want the, the badge, that's also still available and will be available at this location again indefinitely. During the next few hours while the event is running, there are a number of ways that you can communicate with people on the platform and uh, the uh, event team. We, uh, we are monitoring all of the various chats on the Hopin platform. Uh, please do ask any questions there and I will try to respond as quickly as I can as well as other, other people on my team. We also have a Slack instance and 
Somewhere around a thousand of you have joined that Slack instance. Uh, it's still available and it will be available after the event if you want to continue to discuss the event once it's over. There is a hallway track that is listed under the sessions tab at the left-hand side of your screen. Um, we're seeing a lot more activity on that as people start joining there and chatting. I'll be in and out of that all day. And there's several other of our community members who have uh, kind of volunteered to staff that to be welcoming. And finally, we do have the polls. I had intended to run more polls this week, but uh, time kind of got away from me. But there are some polls in there about who you are and why you're here. Now, one of the most exciting things about these polls to me is that 85% of you are here for your very first ApacheCon. And that's that's particularly exciting to me because building the community is what this is about. So thank you for coming and please stick around after the conference. There's a number of ways that you can do that. Stick around, I mean. Um, you can follow us on Twitter. Now, most Apache projects, not all of them, but most of them have social media accounts where you can connect with the community. The three that I have listed here are the ones that uh, that are kind of top level at the Apache Software Foundation. We have the ApacheCon one, which is primarily about this event. So it tends to go a little bit quiet between events. The ASF is our primary Twitter account, and the Apache community. Twitter account, follows our individual uh, project communities and what they're doing. <clears throat> we have a YouTube channel. Uh, this is probably the question that people have asked me most this week is, where can I watch the sessions that I missed? They will be on our YouTube channel. Not today, not tomorrow, but over the coming weeks as we download and process all the videos that the conference platform has collected for us. Uh, they will uh, start appearing there. We will also be writing a, uh, a wrap-up about this event on blogs.apache.org, which is also a great place to find out about things from all over the Apache community. And we hope that many of you will get involved in our projects, uh, projects that you've learned about. Maybe you participated in the bug bash or you learned something and you want to learn more lists.apache.org is the lifeblood of the Apache Software Foundation. This is where all of the discussion happens. Uh, we, we have uh, millions of email uh, messages here, and we have archives going back in the past if you want to do some, some history research. So please join us on our mailing list. Tomorrow, after I sleep in a little bit, um, I'm going to be sending all of you an email message with uh, a few messages from our sponsors and a little bit of wrap-up information. But one of the things that I want you to pay particular attention to is the attendee survey, which you can go fill out right now if you like, or you can wait for my email tomorrow. Please fill out the survey. This will give us a great deal of insight into your experience with the event and what we can do better next time. We're aware that we didn't do everything perfectly this time, and we want to hear your opinions on this so we can do it even better. So with that said, we're going to move on to our keynotes today. Um, we, uh, we have three keynotes today, and I'm, I'm especially excited about this first one. Um, Oak Ridge National Laboratory, for those of you that are not familiar, is home to one of the fastest supercomputers on the planet. Until just a few months ago, it was the fastest supercomputer on the planet. Um, and during this time of, of pandemic, they've turned some of those resources towards fighting the pandemic and looking for cures. Um, our, our first keynote, Edmund Begoli, is going to speak about how Apache software is used at Oak Ridge National Labs and also some of the other things that they're working on. And uh, I am going to step off stage for just a moment and get Edmund ready to give his keynote. Following that, we will have a presentation from Anil Inamdar from InstaCluster. And 
Gian Merlino from Imply. Uh, right now, I'm going to go get Edmund, and I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 